Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. This is TVC News at 7. The Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria made the good of their threat today as they took to the streets across the country to press home their demand for financial autonomy. The Nigeria Bar Association was at the forefront of the protest today as lawyers Ada Abuja marched to the National Assembly insisting that independence of the judiciary is constitutional and the three arms of government are equal partners. Judiciary correspondent Celestina area has details. A peaceful demonstration embarked upon by the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria in Abuja to press home their demands of financial autonomy. The protesters who besieged the already locked Court of Appeal say the executive order 10 and its application granting financial autonomy to the judiciary is topmost on their demand. They are also asking for the payment of peculiar allowances to their members. The judiciary workers had on 10th April commenced on a nationwide strike. At the federal level, we have peculiar allowances that have been long overdue for over six years. We've been writing for review. It has not seen the light of the day up to today. In Ebony, we have issues with the governor. He has refused to pay our members their conjures. And they've been asking for it. Instead of him listening to them, he has turned down to be victimizing them. All those fights are there. We have not highlight them because we felt the moment we are given autonomy and we are independent, we, all these problems will not, will not see the light of the day, will not arise again. That is why we've been hammering of autonomy of judiciary. The Nigerian Bar Association in solidarity with Joseph joined the priest for demonstration. They marched from the Secretariat to the National Assembly. And the governors have refused, despite all entreaties, to obey the provisions of the Constitution, i.e. Section 121, Subsection 3, to ensure that they pass all the money made for the, for the state judiciaries to the head of courts. All, like I said, all attempts to make them uh, citizens have failed. After giving notice of this uh, visitation, the meeting is fixed for tomorrow. So the, today is, is, is to let the governors know that they cannot have their way all the time. At the National Assembly, they were denied access to the complex by security men. Yeah, I can see go persons go going go in back there. Did you ask them for their invite? What head of the country is this? The security men argued that the association ought to have sent a letter to the house informing them of their visit. This position did not go well with the lawyers. In our numbers, to have access to the National Assembly so that we can uh, uh, present our matter uh, to the National Assembly. However, we are having challenges getting in. But I think we are optimistic that the National Assembly is a law-abiding institution because they make the laws and they know the importance of abiding by the laws. The Minister of Labour, Chris Ingige, is expected to meet with Joseph and the state governors to deliberate on how to end the strike. The Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria says they will not suspend the strike until their demands are met. They want the state governors to respect Section 121, Subsection 3 of the Nigerian Constitution, which states the financial autonomy of the judiciary. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja. And Lagos lawyers from the Keda branch of the NBA embarked on a protest to the Lagos State Government House in full solidarity with the striking Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria who have downed tools across the country since the 5th of April. Popularly called the Tiger Branch, the protesting lawyers numbering about 60, led by their chairman Bartholomew Agobodo, marched from the bar center at Ikeja to the government house at Alausa, but they were prevented from entering the premises despite demanding to see the governor, his deputy or the head of service. Eventually, about four representatives of the branch, including the chairman and two former chairmen, were granted access to go in and drop the letter with one Mr. Deji, who is said to be the officer in charge of males who promised to deliver it to the governor. But while the other four branches of the NBA in Lagos State, namely Lagos, Ikorodu, Ekwe and Badagri, have agreed to pay a visit to the Lagos House Marina to visit the governor on Tuesday after having gotten the support of the NBA president, Ulumidi Apata. Well, it was the same scenario in Ondo State as lawyers converged on the Akure High Court complex from where they moved round the state capital 
and ended in the governor's house in Alagbaka, where a letter of protest was presented to the government. Armed with different placards, the lawyer said the situation where the judiciary goes to governors for funds each time is unacceptable. The state deputy governor, Loki Haidatwa, who received the protesters, said Governor Rotimi Akiridolu is not against autonomy for the judiciary. The independent and financial autonomy for the judiciary in Nigeria. We want all the governor of the 36 states to obey the provision of session 81 sub 3 of the constitution which says the judiciary has a financial autonomy and this is why we are here. With Jusun, they have been on strike for some weeks now fighting for judicial autonomy for the judiciary and uh, the MBA doesn't fit that uh, we need to give them support because the concept of financial autonomy is what the MBA is supporting wholeheartedly. Our governor, your former president, a life venture, is not and will never be a fact to judicial financial autonomy. I can say that on his behalf. He's not a fact, he's never opposed to it. Meanwhile, the Senate has now appealed to state governors and state houses of assembly to grant autonomy to the judiciary in the overriding interest of the public. Chairman, Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, Okpayemi Bamadili, made the call in an interview with National Assembly correspondents shortly after a joint committee hearing at the National Assembly. He said while the National Assembly lacks powers to legislate on behalf of states, they must guarantee the independence of the judiciary at every level. The laws are very clear on this. For the National Assembly, we have done the needful by making necessary laws that will guarantee the independence of the judiciary at the federal level. So for us, it is not an issue because we have done the needful. I also say for the record that the National Assembly does not make laws for the states. Every state, according to our constitution, has its own state house of assembly. The only time that the National Assembly acts as a state house of assembly is when it has to do with the federal capital territory, to which we are like the state house of assembly. We have also done the needful. So judiciary at the level of federal capital territory is also independent because we have done what we're supposed to do.